Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I've got some super satisfying cleaning for you. I'm gonna be cleaning my slider door track and showing you the before and the during and the after. My slider door track is definitely in need of some attention. I feel like this is something in your house, if you have one, that you either don't see it, you just don't realize how dirty it is, or you see it and you just put off doing it forever because there's way more important stuff that needs to get done. In my case, that was kind of how it was for me. I just, I knew that it was dirty, but there was always other stuff that I needed to do instead of this, but I was just tired of looking at it and just decided that I would clean it and record it for you guys too. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. If you're new here, my name's Jill. I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up for me if you enjoy it. But yeah, let's get started. So I have a couple tools that I'm gonna be using. I think these are gonna be the ones that I'm gonna use the most, but I just have an old cleaning toothbrush, just a basic toothbrush. Um, and then I have these two brushes that came in a set that I bought on Amazon. And this one I think is going to be good for getting underneath the door. I don't think the toothbrush is going to fit in there, so I'm hoping that this one will be good for that. And then this one I always like to use in the corners because the, bristle, the bristles go across the top too. Like this one has no bristles at the top, so it's always hard to like get into the corner or like along an edge. I like this one a lot, so hopefully that one will work out well. And then I just have a roll of paper towels and my vacuum. And the only thing I'm going to use my vacuum for is I'm just going to take the crevice tool and this is going to be the first thing that I do. But I'm going to take the crevice tool and just try to vacuum out as much as I can. It fits pretty good in there. I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to get, but yeah, I'm going to use that to vacuum out as much as I can first. But before I vacuum, I'm going to take this little brush and go along the inside of the track and try to loosen up as much dirt as I can so that the vacuum can pull it out. take some vinegar and baking soda and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sprinkle baking soda into the track like 
all over it and try to get as much everywhere as I can. Then I'm going to take the vinegar and pour a little bit into a measuring cup and then I'm going to dump the vinegar on top of the baking soda and it's going to fizz up and really help to loosen up like dirt that's really stuck on and caked in there. Now I'm just going to take this brush again and just scrub inside and loosen everything up and then I'll wipe it out with paper towels. Just with that first wipe down it's already looking a lot cleaner i have to go back over it a bunch with paper towels and try to get everything out that is just like some clumps of baking soda that i have to wipe out but i'm just going to keep wiping and probably use the brush a little bit more in here and try to try to get that as clean as i can it's really tough to get under there but i'm going to try to do it as best as i can and i will show you guys the after
and that's it my slider door track is now nice and clean it looks so much better i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and again if you did please give a thumbs up for me that's the best compliment that you can give me yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys all in my next video bye Thank you.